Only one corporate company has a woman CEO from the 30 organizations sampled in this study. So there were no women board chairs in the Solomon Islands sample. We also looked at deputy chairs, although there weren't many of those, only six, and there were two women holding those positions. And when we looked at women's representation as board directors, it was 11% of directors in Solomon Islands, which is compared to the regional average of 21%. Solomon Islands has a large business sector relative to other countries in this study. The sample for Solomon Islands includes 20 private sector organizations, nine state-owned enterprises, and one industry association. We know there's been lots of focus on women's leadership in the Pacific, but it's often focused on political representation. And we knew that there were lots of women in senior roles in business, but there hadn't been much in the way of data collected on that. So we set about to cross the 14 countries we operate in, including Solomon Islands, to collect data on women's representation on boards in the private sector and also in senior management roles such as CEOs and CFOs. The significant gender disparity in leadership in the organizations included in the sample does not necessarily reflect women's broader involvement in business. Data from 2020 on registered businesses, including small organizations and family-run operations excluded from this study, show that women comprise 23% of company directors and 26% of shareholders. We found within the global research that companies that have more women in leadership positions actually perform better. So I think the businesses operate in a different way to other types of organisations like CSOs or even, you know, the, the differences around political leadership. So I think the sort of private sector sort of looks at this as a business opportunity. If we get more women in these positions, our company is going to perform better. So I think it's a, a real motivating factor where women can be recognised for the talent that they bring to these roles and the benefit that that delivers for companies. Unlike the private sector, women have historically been underrepresented on SOE boards. We really need to look at, at establishing or formulating doable practical activities that will really help women sit on boards. And I think some of the suggestions we came up with at the roundtable discussion was quite practical in terms of setting up a desk or secretary within Siki office to be able to attend to training women sitting on board or getting women's CVs, yeah, database for women's CVs so that when boards require women representation or when SOE boards are advertised for people to sit on board, we can uh, quickly look at our CV data and see which women can be encouraged uh, to sit on, on the boards. The report, Leadership Matters, Benchmarking Women in Business Leadership in the Pacific, collects and analyzes data on women's representation on boards and in senior management in the 14 Pacific developing member countries of the Asian Development Bank. The report finds that the Pacific compares favorably with global averages for women's representation on boards and in senior executive leadership. For Tavuli News, I'm Gina Kekea.